Are you currently feeling overwhelmed, anxious, and depressed from overworking, having to meet tight deadlines, and having to pay bills? Well, you're experiencing stress. So what exactly is stress? Stress, also known as the silent killer, can come from any source. It can be emotional, physical, or even job related. It's pretty much our body's way of responding to any kind of demand or threat. Some stress can actually be a good thing, like can actually help us stay focused. However, if you're constantly under stress for long periods of time, you may be experiencing chronic stress, which has many negative effects on the body. When you're under mental, physical, or emotional stress, your sympathetic nervous system sends a signal to your hypothalamus, which is located in the brain. This then releases a hormone known as a cortisol-releasing hormone, also referred to as a CRH. CRH then activates a pituitary gland to release another hormone known as the adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as the ACTH. ACTH then stimulates the adrenal cortex to release cortisol. Cortisol is actually the major hormone released in response to prolonged periods of stress. It is known to increase blood sugar levels and increase blood pressure. At the same time, neurons in the hypothalamus signal the medulla to release epinephrine and norepinephrine. So, then what exactly are the long-term effects of stress? Well, now is our chance to dive in and learn about them. Stress has many effects on the body. Now let's see how stress affects the heart, the lungs, the digestive tract, the skin, and the liver. Let's first start off with the heart. The long-term effects of stress on the heart is that it can actually lead to an increase in heart rate and an increase in blood pressure. Stress also causes an increase in blood cholesterol levels, which can build up on the walls, leading to blood clots, thus restricting blood flow to the heart. Not to mention, chronic stress has actually been linked to heart disease, heart attacks, and heart failure. According to a review conducted in 2012, chronic stress from work and in private life is associated with a 40 to 50% increase in the occurrence of coronary heart disease. Now let's observe the effects on the lung. The respiratory system responds to stress by speeding up breathing. When the body starts rapidly breathing, hyperventilation, which is abnormal rapid breathing, may occur, causing panic attacks in some people. And so too much stress can thus trigger an asthma attack. And so according to the Asthma Analogy Foundation of America, asthma causes almost 2 million emergency room visits each year. In the long run, stress can also lead to other chronic lung diseases, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. This is a type of obstructive lung disease which is characterized by long-term poor airflow. Now let's observe the effects of stress on the digestive tract. If your life is stressful, it can be difficult to lead a healthy lifestyle. Evidence from longitudinal studies actually suggests that chronic life stress may be linked to overeating. When you're under high levels of stress, the stress hormone cortisol becomes stimulated. So instead of being physically active to release stress, you may respond by overeating and eating unhealthy energy-dense foods which can lead to weight gain and obesity. According to Statistics Canada, about 20.2% Canadians 18 and older are reported to be obese. Now let's see what the effects of stress has on the skin. Constant stress can increase your risk to getting skin diseases such as eczema or psoriasis. These are marked by red, itchy, and scaly patches. And so high levels of stress, especially if they are prolonged, can cause these conditions to flare up. According to a global report conducted by the World Health Organization on psoriasis, at least 100 million people worldwide have psoriasis, making it a serious global problem. Now let's learn about the effects of stress on the liver. Under stress, your stress hormones kick in, raising your blood sugar levels, and normally, unused blood sugar is reabsorbed by the body. However, if you're under chronic stress, your body may not be able to keep up with all the extra glucose, therefore increasing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Chronic stress is bad for your overall health, so if you're experiencing ongoing stress, you owe it to yourself to find healthier ways to relax, de-stress, and to seek help. For more information on the effects of stress, don't forget to visit Health Canada's mental health section. Thank you for watching.
Don't forget to like and subscribe.